our speaker, the President of the United States. It hasn't been an easy eight years in office for President Obama. People around this country are frustrated with his administration and are looking for a new perspective on how this country should run. The unpredictability and spectacle that this election has brought us has highlighted the rampant feelings of mistrust towards the government. The election of 2016 will go down in the books as one of the most surreal, divisive elections in the history of this country. But now that we're deep in the midst of primary season, the remaining candidates have begun their final push towards the White House. Beyond the rhetoric and the manner spewed by some of the wannabe candidates, many of the students at Oxford College have managed to pick out their choice for the next commander in chief and are eager to make their voices heard this election year. This is Maida Cisneros, a nutrition major at Oxford College, and she shares with us her feelings on who she wishes to become next president and why. I would probably choose Bernie Sanders. I feel like he's probably the best candidate because he's more for the people. And definitely his reforms on education and school and tuition, those are close to me because I'm a student and I don't want to be in debt for the rest of my life. You know, I don't want to be paying for something. Obviously, yes, I want to be educated, but I don't think it should come with that high of a price. I think Bernie hits all the issues that I would like them to implement mostly global warming and what we're doing to to the earth. That's pretty big for me. I wish more of the candidates would touch on that. That's why I lean more, I guess, towards Bernie because he does touch on all those subjects. He shouldn't even be on TV, Batman. He really shouldn't. He's just he's a disaster. I think it would be a disaster if he became president. I would probably move. I just. I mean, I, if I could, I would. I don't know if I can, but I just, I don't see him as, he's a fool. Spread on by recent endorsements and a wave of momentum, Trump has recently won a majority of the caucuses and has propelled himself as the front-running Republican nominee. His no holds barred style seems to have stricken a chord with some of the American public. But lately, his campaign seems to have hit a snag. Recent controversies involving the two front-running Republican nominees' the wives... ...is that there has to be some form of punishment. For the woman. ...and his comments about abortion have Trump reevaluating his campaign tactics. This is Kenneth Tapia a talented film student at Oxford College, hard at work. Though Kenneth doesn't like Trump as a candidate and wouldn't vote for him, he appreciates his tell it like it is style. Trump is a, he's a very smart, articulate guy. Uh, a lot of people say he's like a clown, you know, he's very egotistical and he pretty much because he speaks out of his ass. But I really, I truly believe he, he has a chance of winning this election. He speaks his mind, he tells it how it is, and he's not afraid to push the limits. You know, he may be a bit controversial, but you know, unlike Hillary Clinton and Barry Sanders, he'll actually let it out without fear. You know, he doesn't sugarcoat anything. What I don't like about Donald Trump is that he's just anti-immigrant. He, I don't know what it is that he has against immigrants, but you know, they, they help a lot in this country. And he's a, he wants to ban all Muslim people, and for what? Not all Muslim people are bad. That's just what the media portrays. Though Ken and many Americans feel strongly about Trump, say it like it is style, many also oppose his hateful rhetoric and feel that this goes against the American way. Recent violent clashes at various Trump rallies demonstrate the charts in motion this election year has brought us. And many Oxford College students have strong opinions when it comes to the hate spewed by the millionaire. This is Danek Villatoro, another talented film student at Oxford College, and he shares his feelings on the campaign Mr. Trump is running. Donald Trump uh, is kind of like a radical. He has like a lot of dangerous things he's saying, a lot of fascist things, I, I believe. The recession had a big effect on a lot of working class people, and, and uh, people who usually have a or they want someone to blame for things like that, and you know, immigrants are usually uh, an easy target for like uh, these right-wing uh, political nuts to attack them and to blame someone for you know these uh, economic crisis that the United States is in. And you know, it's just uh, it's all bullshit, bro. Because you know, technically, uh, 
the big banks, you know, they destroyed the country, you know, the government, they also had a hand in it because they didn't regulate the banks and guys in Wall Street, you know, you know. So technically, like, rich white people destroy this country, not immigrants, but, you know, the media doesn't really cover that. You know, they have their own agendas and they want to, you know, hide this ol oligarchy that they have in this country and, you know, they, they protect that, you know, trick it off this mess. Yeah. But uh, what would you do if Trump got elected president? Oh man, uh, I don't think that's gonna happen. But you know, anything is possible. But ooh, that's a. Uh, I think the country just be like really fucked up, bro. Wait, wait, wait. It seems that there's a showdown brewing in the GOP, and they've been mostly united in the effort to derail the Trump train. Many Republican figureheads have come out of the woodworks and spoken against Donald Trump, and coupled with recent controversies, have him against the ropes. Ted Cruz has gained ground in the delegate counts to Donald Trump's dismay and displeasure. But still, he's leading and there's rumblings in the GOP that if Trump wins the nomination, they will initiate a contested convention. But many see Hillary Clinton as the only candidate that can trump Trump from entering the White House. But late Lately, it would seem that Hillary is filling the burn, as Bernie has had a string of victories, taking all the primaries in the last three weeks and putting pressure on Clinton. Bernie Sanders has hinted on a contested convention if his momentum keeps its pace, and even nature it would seem is jumping on the Bernie bandwagon. The power of the people is undeniable, and many of Oxnard College's students will be paying close attention to their TV, computer screens, or phones, and are waiting to hear who will be the next Democratic and Republican nominees. As always, it's up to us to make our voices heard this election year and vote for the candidate that most matches our values. But beyond the rhetoric and the madness, there's a strong sense of hope and optimism from the students at Oxford College that this country will make the right choice for the next president of the United States.